video viewers. Hey Today, there. I am with my mother in mm -hmm. Casa de Basley because the mom figure. It's New Year's Eve and mm -hmm. we got iced in to the house, so we're stuck. What are we supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Stay here and be bored? Well, that's what I'm doing. It's been a really crazy year, honestly. A lot of stuff has gone on. A lot of changes have been made. Yes. What has changed for you this year, Mom? Um, my teeth got straightened. Woo! <laughs> my biggest thing is that I've become an empty nester because your brother went to college. Oh yeah, everybody's gone. What right. do you do now that we're, you're an empty nester? Um, I still do a lot of the same things. I haven't really and truly adapted to being an empty nester. That's pretty interesting. That's what has sad. changed for you this year? What major changes have you had? Mm, a lot. Like I feel like 20, like I was 21 this year. Okay, so I turned okay. 21. That was a big deal. Oh, I forgot about that. That was a big you deal. You forgot that I turned 21. So I turned 21, which is like a life changer because just all this stuff happens. Mm -hmm. You kind of grow up a little bit, like your frontal cortex starts to develop more. And so, <laughs> but now I'm going into 2018 and I was saying on my Snapchat earlier this week was that like I feel very different than I've ever felt. I don't know if I'm like more mature or like what it is, <laughs> but I feel weird. Like I feel like this year is going to be really different for me. Well, one, I'm graduating college. Two, I have an internship that's like either going to make me or break me because I need a job after college. True. I just broke up out of a serious relationship. Um, so what we're gonna do in this video is we're going to talk about our best and worst memories of 2017. Woo! Woo! So we'll start with January 2017. They say that what you're doing on New Year's is basically how your year's gonna go. So I can say that my New Year was pretty dull and it kind of set the pace for the year. Your year was <laughs> dull? Wait, I should have said at least it set the pace for January, maybe not the whole year. Wow. How about you? What were you doing on New Year's? On uh, New Year's last year, 2007, oh, I was babysitting at the Weirdest. cat lady's house. <laughs> so I'm kind of going off pictures because I have pictures of everything that happened Am month I by money? month. Because I don't You're remember. on the ones in Vegas. January, I was an RA, so I, wow. it was my last like semester so being an RA. Ago. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. All right, so that was my worst, being an RA. <laughs> um, I can't say too much happened in January either for me. So February, what was February? Your best moment of February. Um, yeah, I can't remember what I did. <laughs> All right, well. Let me think. Sorry. Uh, yo, we saw Tracy Morgan. He's a comedian, so not a concert, but a comic. So you saw Tracy Morgan in? Yep. Okay, that was the best. That was okay, fun. so the best moment for me in Jan in February was when I discovered that I was beautiful. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, and no, in February, it was Valentine's Day. Nothing really special happened. Um, March. March, 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 March. Your girl turned 21. Matter of fact, where's my drink? I oh my we can gosh, because we're iced in. There's nothing else we can do. What are we supposed to do here? I'm alone. I'm asleep under the pool table tonight. Yeah, it's depressing. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no, but in March, I turned 21. We went to Vegas. So what was your biggest and best memory from Vegas? My best memory from Vegas was actually the Hoover Dam. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the Hoover Dam. Because the two girls, Jasmine and Jordan, were completely wasted, and it was hilarious. Wasn't that funny? I don't so remember it. Funny. We I remember. stopped on the Hoover Dam. I got out to look over the side and then all these helicopters came. Yeah, it was Parking crazy. Twerking for Hoover. Twerking for Hoover. And my mom was there. She was having the time of her life. My she mom. was having the time of her life watching y'all. We lived vicariously through you and you lived safely and maturely through We us. made it through y'all, because otherwise we probably would have fallen over the Hoover Dam. <laughs> it was very fun though. Vegas was obviously my highlight. Honestly, my highlight of the year. Memory of Vegas. My most fun memory of Vegas? Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, there were so many. Honestly, I don't know. The whole trip was very Oh, what about fun. that ride y'all rode on top of the... We building. stayed in the stratosphere with the, the one that has the roller coasters on top, so we rode the um, one that goes up and down like this. Um, on top of it, it was very fun. It was scary. 
Oh, and then another good memory of March was I was in New Orleans and I, my best friend, well, one of my best friends, Taylor Abbott, was down there. And she, we didn't know. And I had, she saw me Snapchat and it was, I said New Orleans and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm in New Orleans. So we met up. We were so drunk. This was like the, I think this was like the actual date of my birthday or something. It was like the night before I left for Vegas. And we got super drunk and I, we were like running down the street and I fell. I like busted it and like Reggie and her boyfriend were behind us and they, we were running away from them. We were like, go, go, go. I was so drunk. <sighs> Good times. April. April. Mm -hmm. What is April? <clears throat> yeah. So April wasn't much either, right? Not much. Yeah. <laughs> I was a, for my a job, fizzle. it's the, um, what do you call it? Star testing. The kids are driving us crazy. That just I like, would prefer to just lot April out. <laughs> May. Well, May was a good month. May, okay. Because it went, it led into summer. We let out of school. We got into summer. Jared graduated high school. Jared graduated. Yeah. yeah, so summer began. Well, here's the highlight of June for me. I started filming The Land of Milk and Honey in June, which was very interesting the way. You can find the link below. Um, yeah, so June was good. July. July we went to the future, con or June we went to the future concert. That was wow. fun. I was so drunk. <laughs> Again. Again. July we were also in Atlanta because we went to Six Flags in oh, July. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. the trip was in July. Trip was in July. That was fun. Another shout out for Gus's. Gus's fried chicken. Go ahead and try the it. The best. Tasty taste. Oct but, August. Hey, should we say avoid that place in, um, where was that place that we went? They had the big brown sloppy dishes of snow. <laughs> I probably jogged it out of my memory. Yeah, we won't say anything negative. August. What happened in August for you? We road tripped to Arkansas and tailgated at his little school. I ran the flag at the football game, which was fun. October. That was my ex. That was my ex's birthday. And I was um, interning. August was nice because I got my first internship. Okay. But October was nice because it was Awesome Film Festival, which was the actual like festival. festival part so that of was it. cool. Yep. November. <laughs> and that's the that's when everything starts blowing up at school. Because you're getting busy. And mom's stuff is blowing up. Like you're trying to shop and plan for the holidays. Thanksgiving. It was blowing up. It's to New Orleans. We went to the Saints game. <gasps> my highlight was the Saints game. That was fun. Oh my and gosh. We we met um, Drew Brees on the you street. You met Drew Brees. We were walking in by like Manning's restaurant in like the good, in the nice area, and we saw like this guy taking pictures with someone. And Jared was like, "Is that Drew Brees?" And then we saw him like walking really fast because he was like trying to catch up to his family. We were like, "Wait!" And we took a picture, and but I was thinking you met Saint De Claus or something like that. Oh, yeah, Saint, Saint De Claus. <laughs> I met Saint De Claus too. The I game was really there. fun. The game was so fun. That was the turnout. dome is amazing. It's Honestly, New so Orleans loud. is amazing. I'm going to promo New Orleans really fast. You should mm -hmm. definitely visit. Mardi Gras is coming up. Just wait. You know wait. you know what? So many people think that New Orleans is not a family-friendly city. But it really is. It's very family-friendly. You just need to, like, be smart. Don't go and, like, where people are drinking and stuff like that. Or, you know, you get the, you get the results. November, December. Hello. We're the last day of December of 2017. What is your highlight of December? I really enjoyed Christmas. I know it's cliche, but it was just fun because all three kids were home. My mom was here. Mm -hmm. And our little fast trip to New Orleans was fun too. Yeah. Because, um, you know, just seeing the family at their homes with their Christmas stuff going on. Yeah. And then you working on that little film that you worked on. That was really short. cute. Honestly, December December has been a good month. A lot of rest. But a lot of, like, like I said before, I'm like feeling really different going into 2018 so this month has just been like a time for me to decide like what I really want out of this next year you know mm -hmm. what do you think is what is the biggest thing you want out of 2018 well I guess the biggest life-changing thing is that you're gonna graduate and I want you to be able to um, feel confident going into the world I noticed that recently you've had a lot of worry about getting a job and you know millennials are always talking about hey there's not a lot of jobs out there and how will we make enough money to live and so I am kind of like um, hoping that everything just kind of falls into place for you oh my gosh let's hope tonight is the last night which means we celebrate all of these wonderful memories we leave this year on a strong note and we start the next one on an even stronger absolutely we're going from a, a D note to an E note what does that mean?
it's just like on the octave, like this. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like D, okay, blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. goes up to E. So we're going from a D to an E. We're leveling up here. And that's why I told my mom, I was like, you need to level up on a couple things. I'm trying to get you to like, you know, turn over a new leaf. We're going to get you some new and makeup also stuff. known as upgrading. She's trying to upgrade me. I'm trying to upgrade. But just, now we're going to a more modern word, which is level up. Yes. So yeah, but yeah, so happy 2018, we, or have a happy 2018. Happy we New Year. You had a great 2017. We're rooting for you this year. I hope you're rooting for yourself. Um, yeah, we love you, and there's just like a lot you should be looking forward to. So keep it up. Make a vision board. I'll have a vision board video coming soon of how to make a good vision board, because everything on my vision board has worked, but you can, you can check that one out later. So happy New Year! Happy New Year! Woo!